Hello, welcome back to Fantasy Star. Okay, just, I'm gonna finish up chapter four here. Bunch of people are gonna have a bunch of apologizing to me. Ah, there you are. You came at just the right time. I wanted to express remorse for everything back on the mothership. I don't know what came over me. It's no big deal. I appreciate the sentiment, but really, I need to make my penance. Code Abyss level orders or not, there's never a good reason to take up arms against a friend. I'm in no shape to keep anyone safe yet, I guess. Seems like more training is all that awaits me. Can I speak with you for a moment? I simply wanted to apologize for all that happened. I truly am sorry. It wasn't your fault anyway. I am glad you feel that way, but I could never forgive myself if I did not tell you I was sorry. A code abyss level command, though it may have been, friends should always come first. All of this was proof enough that I do not quite have the foundation I thought I did. I will have to get back to training. They always say pretty much exactly <laughs> the same thing, so you'd figure they'd get along. But no, they have to be a pain in the butt. Oh, -ho! did I spook you there? That wasn't what I was going for. This time. Ah, no, no, don't get the wrong idea, though. I'm not here to apologize, either. Oh, no. I'll let all of them do that. I wanted to thank you, actually. For what? Hmm? Well, for that great battle. And all of this, really. Oh, yes. Thank you so very, very much. Now then, I'm off to have a little more fun. Hopefully I'll run into you again. Bye now! Hey, fancy running into you here. Uh, just when I finally had him all to myself. Hmm? What was that, Echo? Oh, no, nothing. Hi. You're looking alive. We shouldn't pass up a chance like this, right? What do you say we tackle a mission together again, like the old days? What? But, Zeno, wait. <laughs> They're probably busy and all, see? So... True, true. It's your call, then. Gee. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> politely decline, not ignoring Echo's obvious end. Read Echo's eyes and decline. No, huh? Ah, that's too bad. Maybe some other time. The distance between him and her. Well, speak of the devil. What perfect timing. Go on, Theo. It's times like these when you need to push yourself. Don't hold back. Let it all out. Yeah. I know. Um... I'm very sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Uh, you doing okay? Yeah. You're right. I guess I should still take it easy, but physically, I feel fine. I'll tell you, though, I was quite surprised you became a Doomon since I saw you last. I also... I want to thank you for saving Ulk. I only made it back here thanks to her. And you. I couldn't tell you how thankful I am for all that you've done. All right already, that's enough! You don't need to grovel so much, all right, Theo? 
You might not be forgiven for everything, but that's just something you have to learn to live with. At some point, you have to pick yourself up. Right. I know. The hard part is, is what comes next. Arx is about to be transformed, and these are some long overdue changes. Shao wants our help with a bunch of different things, too. Don't overdo it, okay? Your wounds haven't even healed all the way yet. It's all right. I'll be fine. I'll pass all of the manual labor on to you. Uh, me? You have a problem with that? You're the one who said you'd always be by my side. I mean, I'll do it, but I'm still kind of in the process of recovering myself. Try to remember that a little. Alrighty. First of all, we need to talk to Xiao about remodeling the shopping plaza. Ah, oh, that's where the fountain comes from. Gotcha. That makes sense now. And obviously the casino. She doesn't listen to a word anyone says, but I guess that's just Ulk for you. Oh, even the Council of Six gotta apologize to me. Smug mood activated. <laughs> Yes, I'm glad to see you, out of everyone. I really wanted to thank you in person. I'm grateful to you for writing our, no, my mistake. Thank you. At the same time, I want to apologize for going to such lengths to hunt you down even though you were innocent of any wrongdoing. I put you in a situation where you had to fight your allies. And I am truly sorry. This incident was all my fault. Once the dust settles, I plan to take responsibility in a manner that satisfies everyone. You're saying you want to take responsibility in such a heavy tone? Are you planning suicide? I won't let you off that easily. But the organization will crumble if those at the top don't take responsibility for their actions. We, Arcs, can't collapse. That's an outdated way of thinking, Regius. Don't you think so? The fact that you broadcasted that announcement and used the Code Abyss yourself was to shoulder all the blame, was it not? What I can't stand the most is your attitude of wanting to take sole responsibility for the incident. Then what? What do you want from a caste who only knows how to fight? Seriously, you will always be an awkward one. There isn't just one way to take responsibility. It means thinking about how to make amends. That's where you need to start. If you really can't compute that, then... Oh, okay, how about this? Work for Ark so hard that you think dying would be a blessing. Then you can die. If you died right now, you would place more of a burden on everyone. Got it? So, that's how to take responsibility. I'm just not clicking on my head. He's Shido, isn't he? Same voice actor. That's why I thought oh, his voice actor oh. there. Hello! You're looking good. That's wonderful. Arx is being restructured, and it's going to get oh so much busier. Be sure to take care of yourself, okay? Info about the past, secrets, a lot. Tons of different stuff is going to be uncovered. Oh, 
For example, oh, yeah, I have a story for you. Once upon a time, there was a baby who was very, very weak at birth. Oh, yeah, we'll just call her Risa, okay? Risa was incredibly powerful at handling photons, but her body couldn't keep up with her. For Args, that was a huge waste. To not use such talent was completely unacceptable. So the next day, Risa was made into a cast. In one day, she underwent a complete metamorphosis. Having attained a powerful body, she was able to fully demonstrate her innate abilities. I don't know whether that Risa had the volition to do that herself. Nobody. Nobody who becomes a cast remembers what they were like before the change. But, but, even so, the current generation exists precisely because everyone pulled their strength and put in the effort. In the end, I guess it's up to each individual to decide whether their circumstances were fortunate or not. That's why Risa always says, it's your loss if you don't enjoy yourself! <laughs> well then, so then, bye bye bye! I assume that's gonna get explained later on. Because episode 5 deals with Alma, it explains more too. Whoa, it's you, Bonehead. Good. Do you need me for something? No, I guess you wouldn't. If anything, you're probably just here to tell me off, right? <laughs> you saw them too, didn't you? My clones. I'm the same as they are. Only I was lucky enough to be chosen from the group. I get that now. My powers are just replicated and reproduced. I'm... Easily replaced. It was all just a place arranged for me to sit. If not me, another version would have been fine. I had no idea. So despite that, I took the title, became one of the six, and acted like I was as good as the rest of the trio of heroes. Larissa doesn't speak to me anymore. What I heard was that guy, Luther or whatever his name was. He was controlling me all this time like a little puppet. It's ridiculous, really. If you can't laugh at how stupid I was, I don't know what you can. But how am I supposed to even laugh at all anymore? This feeling! It's Huey! He's coming! Listen, Bonehead! Don't tell him I was here! Don't you dare! I could feel the very photons in the air about to cry out. So hey, here I am! <sighs> Took off again, did she? Hey, you. Clarice Craze was here just now, right? <laughs> no, she wasn't. She went that way. This is a secret, but she went that way. I owe you one. Catch you later! Do, 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 do. Timing! Don't let her get away! Just don't come any closer, Huey! If you do, you're in for a blasting! Tell me, Clarice Grace. Why are you running? 
Because you're chasing me! I told you to leave me alone! Just quit worrying about me! I'm just... I don't deserve it! Who do you think I am, you big dummy? If you think I'm gonna leave you alone acting like this, you've got another thing coming. But at the end of the day, I'm... I'm just a useless, defective replica. My staff, my reputation, my power, all of it given to me, and fake, worthless, just like me. I know that's what you're thinking too, Bonehead. A mere imitation like me is worthless. That's not true. <laughs> you're obsessing over nothing, Claris Craze. It's not like you. I understand feeling down about it, but I agree with our friend here. What? Claris Craze, listen carefully to what I'm about to say. Those... were mere look-alikes! Avert your eyes from the truth. And with that, I'll say it again. Those were just look-alikes. They were absolutely, positively, definitely not you. Huh? If they were you, think how many times I've killed you. I am very not okay with that line of thinking. So listen, those things aren't you. They were an enemy we both faced, created by Luther. Back there, those doppelgangers, they were my enemies. My targets, Claris Craze. But, are you? I fought you. I did such terrible things to everyone. I said all those horrible things. Even after all that, you are willing to forgive me? Uh, duh! <laughs> Huey, you're always so ridiculous! The end to everyone's story. It's you. What's the matter, Kuna? Lost your nerve? I'm just not in the mood. Perhaps another time. Can you believe that? She's using you as an excuse to bow out. Keep prattling on like that, and your life is forfeit. <laughs> Just having a little fun. Now that Luther's gone, there's no need for me to be in a rush to die. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Photoners existed in ancient times, 
Even if they had exceptionally advanced technology, they wouldn't have been able to retain their form. With that in mind, where do you think Luther's body came from? The answer is here. He used an Ark's body as a vessel. When his existing body failed him, he simply moved on to the next one, just as a Dark Falls would. It's a peculiar kind of irony, like a bad joke. But of course, then you realize he actually was one. Were you... created just like we were? Indeed I was. I am a clone of Kasra, from the trio of heroes, part of the initial trial run. I wasn't mass-produced like Claris Grace, however. I'm... stubborn, let's say. The first Kasra grew twisted and resistant to control, so Luther had to take over directly, from what I understand. His body is the original Kasra. Don't get me wrong, though. Our situations may be similar, but I'm not asking for sympathy. Yeah, that's why he's Kasra the second. I was the one who devised the artificial draconians. That justifies me being a target of your vengeance, Kuna. I failed to anticipate Luther's interference and put an end to his inhumane experiments. The onus for that failure lies with me. Tell me then, Kasra. Why didn't you cover up the artificial draconian incident then? You could have put things to rest behind the scenes, but you disclosed everything, including what happened at the lab. It's almost as if you wanted to bring things to light. But why? An excellent question. I hate it when you do that, you know. Goodness, another close shave. Is what you said true? I wonder. I'll leave distinctions between fact and fiction to your imagination. I may have said too much, however. Loose lips and all that. Particularly when you're around, for whatever reason. Very disconcerting. I must bid you adieu before I inadvertently blurt something else out. Until next we meet. End of the chapter. I have long awaited your arrival. <laughs> what do you think of my Xion impression? Totally captured the vibe, right? I mean, I'm technically a copy of her, so it wouldn't be that weird if I had ended up exactly like her. But I think Xion did enough of the whole mysterious and dignified act for the both of us. I'd rather talk like, you know, a real person. Anywho, let's get right to why I called you here. There's something I wanted to tell you directly. It's about... well, it's about Matoy. If I'm being quite honest with you, I'm not sure who or what she really is. We have no data on her. Surely you know as well as I do that someone with her insanely high level of skill sticks out like a sore thumb, right? And I don't just mean in the ARC's database. She's not even in Xion's records. It's like someone deliberately edited her out. Now, if it had been Luther, that much I could understand. But even he didn't seem to know about her. And if it wasn't him, I can think of only one other possible suspect. Xion. It had to have been Xion. They must have erased all record of Matoy. And it's not just Matoy that got wiped. Xion seems to have deleted all records beyond about, oh, ten or so years ago. Not just physical records either. Nobody in Ark seems to have any clear memories from then anymore either. This isn't the sort of data we can just salvage or trace back either. It's vanished straight out of existence. Bloop, gone. Something important had to have happened then ten years ago. But we can't revisit memories that no longer exist. 
What we need to do is go back directly and see it all for ourselves. You are more than capable of that. More time traveling, hooray! And this isn't just to sate my own curiosity either. Xion is no longer with us, and Luther has fallen. Arx is taking its first steps forward into a brand new era. What that means is that I now need to maintain both the control Luther held and the calculations that Xion ran all by myself. That's why, if I want to ensure the safety and stability of this newborn Arx, I need to know as much as possible about what happened. That includes even things I might not want to know the truth about. That said, I won't pretend I'm not curious about it all. I'd quite like to see what happened before I ever even existed. Right then. Idle hands never accomplished anything, so let's get to work. If we just head back to the time that has been wiped clean from history itself, we should learn a thing or two. This will be a lot like the sort of time travel you've done already. You've been through so much already that I'm sure this trip will be just another drop in the bucket of your wildlife experiences. Xion might have even known I'd try to do this. Maybe that's why they chose you in the first place, you know? I'll be on backup duty. You just head to the target location. Let's find out what truly happened. I think what Xion really Sorry. Was... We'll watch that later. Alright, that ends chapter four. And learn about Matoi. Only one foul battle mission, huh? I was thinking I'm gonna take this opportunity to switch to a new outfit. To lead up to episode three. Well, I should straight up wear the outfit I planned for episode 3, even though I'm still not too thrilled with the whole outfit I picked for now. Don't forget to prepare before setting off. Thank you very much. Ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Episode three. Got to change the upper wear. Yeah, I was looking for another outfit. For episode three, but it have to be this. So where are my accessories? Steve armband. Do I want those? Yeah, I'll keep them off. Ah, but you know what I can add? Did it, did it, did it, did it, if I can find it. There we go. That was accessory four. Ah, so really what I should be doing is moving it back. No, I kind of like it like that. 
Or... Let's see, where is it? Go for these. Huh. Now I'll stick with the clip. Right, we're gonna stop it here. Thanks for watching.